A great sports town like Detroit, sports memorabilia is always in high demand and can fetch a big price. But when one local man spent a fortune on dozens of prized autographs, he says he was taken for a ride. Tonight, 7 investigator Ross Jones is looking into what went wrong and how you can protect yourself from buying phony goods. I have 65 jerseys, 30 hockey sticks, 250 hockey pucks. Paul Wedding of Auburn Hills has been collecting sports memorabilia for years. From Brett Favre to Tom Brady, Wayne Gretzky to Sidney Crosby, he spent thousands on a hobby he loves. Over $13,000. And he bought it all online from an internet auction company out of state selling memorabilia from some of the biggest names in sports. Paul's is an incredible collection, except for one problem. I have no reason to believe any of it is real. It was earlier this year while showing off his collection that one of his friends, another collector, pulled him aside. I gotta tell you something, Paul. This stuff's fake, all of it. All of it came from this place, Coach's Corner Sports Auctions, a popular Pennsylvania-based online auction site for sports memorabilia from around the country, from signed baseballs like this one from Babe Ruth to signed photos like this from Muhammad Ali. Right now, the website lists more than 2,000 pieces currently up for auction. It doesn't have a good reputation in, our, in the industry. Kevin Keating is a nationally recognized autograph authenticator who's worked with the FBI during its investigations into the memorabilia industry. When he looked at some of the items Paul bought... No. Nope. That's yeah. bad, yeah. No, nope. it's the same thing. Yeah, that's definitely a forgery. Yeah, it's definitely not Gretzky. They were all really bad attempts at the forgeries. There are signs you could look for when trying to spot fake signatures. Some bad forgeries can be avoided just by comparing the signature with an authenticated one found online. But the biggest red flag, Keating says, can be the price. A lot of people purchase items based on price comparisons. Mm -hmm. And if something is priced below what the general going rate appears to be, that should be a red flag right there. Last month, our sister station in Philadelphia tried to catch up with Scott Malik, the owner of Coach's Corner. I want to talk to you about allegations you're peddling fake sports no. memorabilia. Let's go, Gina. Can we're we talk in. to you? No, and you're not welcome in here. Either. Why can't we talk to you about this? Have a good day. A day later, his general manager, Lee Trifle, called our sister station and defended the company, denying fraud. He said Coach's Corner can't examine the thousands of pieces that others put up for auction each month on its site, and he estimates 20% of the lower-priced items, under a couple hundred bucks, can be forgeries, and a likely higher percentage for more expensive items, adding, authenticating pieces is a game we can't play, and yet the company provides these certificates of authenticity with each item it sells. There's a lot of money in autographs. As long as there's money to be made, they're gonna, there's gonna be fraud. It, it's prevalent in any type of business. Now, Paul says he doesn't know what he's gonna do with all that memorabilia he now knows is fake. He doesn't feel right displaying it, and certainly he can't sell it. But he's not done collecting either. Only now he says he's clearing all of his purchases through his wife.